How's it going everyone? Um, today I have for you a recent PSA return. It's not a recent PSA submission. This is the last of my orders I had in to PSA before they closed down in 2021. I actually submitted these cards in February of 2021. So it looks like PSA is close to getting caught up on their grading. Here's a first group is I've got 11 Redman tobacco cards with no tabs. We'll go through those first. They're in the oversized holders. Really big holders. And this is Casey Stengel. He came back as a PSA. 3 VG. These are all from 1953, and the backs are all the same. And they had to have done a good enough job cutting the tabs off, so I'm getting a numerical grade instead of authentic. And it's a large holder, and you notice they put those little spacers in there with their plastic glue guns or what, machines or whatever they have there. Each card is numbered up in the upper right corner. Casey Stengel's number one. Card number two, Dominic DiMaggio. Boston Red Sox. He came back as a PSA 5. Excellent condition. Next up, next up we have is Red Shandings, Hall of Famer from Milwaukee Braves and St. Louis Cardinals. I remember him from 1968. He was a manager of the Cardinals when they lost to the Tigers. He's also the manager in 67 when they won the World Championship. And he came back VG3. They have great color. The artwork portraying the players sometimes is a little cartoonish, I think. And we have Robin Roberts, one of the Wiz kids. Robin came back BGX4. And here we have Gil McDougal, infielder for the New York Yankees, several world championship teams. Gil came back as an EX5. Great color on some of these. And then the first of a couple of Brooklyn Dodgers I have. Joe Black, pitcher for the Dodgers. He came back a VG3. Next up we have the big clue, Ted Klazuski. He also came back at VGEX4. You can see his muscles even with that short sleeve jersey there. And here's Pittsburgh Pirates, Ralph Kiner. Looks like he's got a couple specs on him there. This one came back. It's got a little crease in it. Good plus 2.5. And here's uh, another Brooklyn Dodger. Pee Wee Reese. Pee Wee came back BGEX4.
And here's another Brooklyn Dodger. I lied. I guess there we had three of them. I didn't realize it. Roy Campanella. And Roy came back and excellent PSA five. I've always liked these cards. I like anything vintage pretty much. And the final Red Man Tobacco card. Stan the Man Musio. And for the life of me, I do not see the resemblance to Stan Musio. Only the name <laughs> card makes me think it's Stan, and he's a VG, VG3. Stan the Man. And the next card is a 1969 deck ledge. Not decal. Decal. Sorry. Mickey Mantle. This one came back uh, excellent five miscut. You can see where the black block on the bottom is showing on both sides and you can barely see the made in USA on the right side. But it's still Mickey Mantle regardless. I still love it. And we got one more decal. Reggie Jackson. That's from his rookie year. That's an X mint six. That one looks fairly sharp. Just a blank back. I remember back in 69 using these, putting them on books and dressers and Probably my best grade of the whole return is this 1950R423 strip card of Lou Gehrig. Came back a PSA 9. And this is the purple back, which is not as common as the orange back. There you can kind of see the purple. I get the light just right. One more look at Lou. That one will go in my top drawer for a while. Take it out and look at it every once in a while. And that's all I have today. I'd like to thank everybody for taking a look and hope you all have a great evening. Thank you.